Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Dave's Imagination. Today we have a Christmas special. Last night I hosted a surprise birthday party for a friend, and at that party my friend Janie ran a holiday themed murder mystery, Home for the Holidays. We purchased it off Etsy. Uh, we went live on YouTube last night as we played through that game. But today's video, today's video is if you're contemplating purchasing this murder mystery, this home for the holidays murder mystery, this video is for you as in a few moments, I will be going through what you get and reflecting my entire experience. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. So like I said, we purchased this Home for the Holidays murder mystery off of Etsy. And right here I am, right here I am on the Etsy webpage on Murders Incorporated uh, Etsy shop. Why the gal Chelsea, Chelsea puts out a whole bunch of these different murder mysteries. Uh, and now to be full, full uh, disclosure here, I am not being paid for this review. I just interested we played it last night and i thought i'd give my thoughts i enjoyed it quite a bit so spoilers right there i enjoyed playing this murder mystery quite a bit and uh it's probably i've played a few of them and this one might be my favorite ones i've ever played. so i thought i would uh put out a review on my youtube channel to to tell me what tell everyone what i thought of this home for the holidays and i just read through their web page here their their etsy uh shop so it says up here in the right hand corner we see pg home for the holidays 10 to 30 characters and the pdf version pdf version is what we got for 32 dollars it's just under 32 dollars and i worth every penny worth every penny now we got we got just that it is pg and we'll mention that again later and we played with 11 players i believe and the pdf version was fine uh, our host i have to say i didn't purchase it my friend jamie purchased it and she cut it up and she got all organized. She did a fantastic job organizing and putting it on. Uh, we all had a lot of fun. We can go down here. I was gonna read through the descriptions and give you give my thoughts of these. So just read through. Description, one killer, three murder victims. Do you and your guests have what it takes to piece it all together? This holiday special murder mystery party, when the Carroll family gathers to cel celebrate the holiday season, what could possibly go wrong? with angsty teenage daughters, a pun-loving dad, a rebellious boyfriend, and overbearing in-laws, and giving you and your guests a fantastic and unique holiday party to die for. And I gotta say, that was all true. That was all true. Uh, I was, I suppose I was one of the overbearing in-laws. I was Marcus Carroll. My wife was Lydia Carroll, and uh, we were the overbearing in-laws. And we had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, here, reading on, it is also available in a full box kit in which everything is printed out and props are included for your convenience. Uh, we did not do that. Uh, this party is for a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 30 players. Uh, and I have to say, we played with 11 and it worked just fine. Uh, characters have fun individual roles to play and seeks to share, but none are essential to the game. Fair enough. Once you have purchased this party, you'll be able to download the PDFs directly to your computer, which Jamie did. And uh, so you had this Home for the Holidays full story, and then Home for the Holidays character cards, extras package includes certificates with winners and voting cards PDF. And we had, we had all that. She, she had printed out the character cards and I was handed a character card for my character. It gave me a little description and what I know at the top and then some some secrets that my character would have was toward the bottom, so that was good. And I think they they have so there's the home for the holiday. That's the cover, and then there's kind of a picture of all the stuff you do, you can get or download from their PDFs. And keep going here. Oh, we should make this bigger. Here we have their pictures, and we're just gonna thumb through these real quick. As I said, uh, we got a PDF version which Jamie printed out and had the whole story. It had some uh, of these individual character cards. If we if we focus in on some of those individual, oh, then it had some award cards, sure. Yeah, and here here's your individual character cards, and I gave you at the top some things your character knows, uh, things to share, and some secrets to hide. And we had fun with that. And working backwards, at toward the end we did a reveal. Oh well, first Jamie had us do 
Jimmy had us do our suspicions, who we thought committed the murder. And then in the end, uh, sh Jamie did the reveal. And then ultimately, there was awards, a few different awards. Uh, this here is the award for the best estimate. Now, in the murder mystery, three people die, right? So those three people each uh, act out their death scene. And so one of them won, won the best uh, death scene. Uh, another person, I think, did the best overall actor. And oh, and then if you figured out, if you figured out who did it, then you got a, an award also. And then there was through the game, there's a lot of a lot of clues. And that's one of the things I really liked about this this particular murder mystery was the clues. And the clues were actually meaningful. You could uh, piece things together. So as I flow down here back, where did I leave off? Rating PG. Please note that this story contains some minor adult themes like partying, alcohol, gangs, a reference to an affair, and of course, murder. Now, I will say, of our 11, we had two 13-year-old boys playing with us, and they did just fine. They, they were explained what their characters were, and uh, they were able to participate and have it, and I thought they did just fine. The purchase includes tips and tricks to get the guests in character, thorough instructions, example timeline cards, character cards, introduction, conclusion, printable versions of evidence. And indeed, the printable versions of evidence, Jamie did print those out, cut them up, and threw them on the table. So with each murder, uh, periodically through the game, through the role play, uh, there would be a murder, uh, and the person would act out their death scene, and then at the end of that death scene, our, our uh, game master would come on, explain some things, and give us some clues, some additional clues. <clears throat> and then that was and I, in, my, in the video, which I can link somewhere here. I can link the video to, to the roleplay as I recorded on, put it on YouTube last night. So going into the game, going into the game, Jamie explained, did an intro to the game and explained. And, and then after that intro, we ran around to each of the players and we explained who we were. And then after that, we had some a period of what I called social chaos as everyone talked to each other. And if you watch the video, you would see that indeed everyone's talking over each other. And I think we, you know, we have young, we're, we are a family. We're a family and we had friends and so part of this family has a young baby. And this is part of this video, yeah, the young baby was crying. So, so we have, I mean, that's just reality, right? So that's fine. It's all family. Yeah. And so, but with period of social chaos and that social chaos, you, you're trying to role play your characters a little bit and maybe glean a little something about each other. And at a certain point, uh, someone came and go tap someone on the shoulder and try to be sneaky about it and tell that person that, that, that they need to die and to role play. And then they did. And then Jamie would come on and give additional clues. And then after that, then we get back into a time of social deduction, social, what I call social chaos. And in the video, it is chaotic. So in, in my other video where I actually show you how we role played it, uh, I put chapters and I would encourage anyone watching that video, just jump to those chapters to, to see how it went and see how those uh, murders were acted out. And then that happened three times, three murders. And then after the third murder, you had another period of social chaos. And then Jamie came on to say, ask people who they thought did it, and you then give the reveal of how we could have figured out who did it and who give awards out for the three people, the the, the best portrayal of a, a death, the best overall actor, and the person who figured it out. And we did actually have one person who figured out, I'm not sure she figured, knew why she figured it out, but she figured it out. So th then let's go back into the description. My mystery, my Chelsea's murder mysteries are all handwritten by me, by Chelsea. So you'll have a truly unique experience. If you shop any, if you have any questions, feel free to check out her shop FAQs or message her. Huh? We didn't have to do that. And so then she gives a sample of, of her intro. And I can say that this is pretty representative of what it actually was. So overall, as you look at the, as you look through all of the reviews, if you look through all the reviews, you can see most of them are very, very good. And when I add one, I would say the same thing. So I wanted to mention why I really like this game. We played a number of these murder mystery parties before, and now we don't do them all, but but we probably do one or two a year, and and so. This particular one, though, might be my favorite. It might be my favorite. And the reason is 
The reason is because at the end of the night, at the end of the night, you could have deduced who actually did it. As Jamie went through the, the reasoning, she pointed out all the clues and, and went through, well, you might have thought it was this person, but here's why yes and why no, and, and ultimately why it wasn't that person. And then got to the point where she said, if you would have noticed this, you might have noticed that, and you might have noticed this, and you could have pieced together who actually did it. And I'll tell you, many times when you're playing these games, the who done it is completely random. And there's reason to do that, right? So, so that the host doesn't even know who did it, and, and they figure it out. But often when they do that, it's completely random, and you feel like, you know what? I feel dumb for not knowing who did, but why feel dumb? Because it was ultimately random. And why did you do it? You had, we had fun. You know, often in those cases, you have fun role playing and and spending your hour or whatever it is doing it and uh, having a lot of fun. And oh, by the way, th this whole thing from start to end, hour and a half, really role play part, probably an hour from the intro to the point where we were done. It was probably an hour. Spent a little time settling up, uh, getting our name tags hanging on our character sheet. All that was probably an hour and a half, but the actual role play was probably an hour. And so that was nice. So we didn't take all night. Good. It was very good. I appreciated it. And and like I said, through the hints, we might have been able to figure it out. I didn't. I guessed wrong, but there was one person that did guess right. So good good job to that person. However, I will say, I don't think she knew why she guessed the right. She just guessed the right person and happened to be right. So she won the award. No one was all. So we had a good time. All in all, the, the product was high quality. Everything in it was very good. And uh, I would highly recommend the purchase to anyone. I think you'll enjoy it as much as we do. So that was it. That's it for my video. I am Dave for Dave's Imaginations. And until next time, take care. Bye.